The sports club of a school has 36 girls and they wish to form four volleyball teams of nine girls each. In how many ways can they do this? So there is a sports club of 36 girls and four volleyball teams have to be formed. Let me name it as T1, T2, T3 and T4. And each team will have nine girls. So to form team 1, 9 girls will be chosen from 36 girls. In how many ways? In 36 choose 9 ways. Let me keep it aside. Now for team 2, again 9 girls will be chosen. But for team 1, 9 girls have already been taken and we have 36 minus 9 which is 27. So for team 2 we have 27 girls remaining. Out of them, 9 girls have to be chosen. Again, this can be done in 27 choose 9 ways. Now for team 3, what will be the possibility? We have 9 plus 9, 18 girls already out, out of the 36 girls. So we have 18 girls remaining. Out of them, 9 girls have to be chosen. And this can be done in 18 choose 9 ways. And the fourth team, We'll have just 9 girls remaining and they can be chosen in 9 choose 9 ways. So for team 1 we have 36 choose 9, team 2 we have 27 choose 9, team 3 we have 18 choose 9 and for team 4 we have 9 choose 9. And we have want all these to happen so by the rule of product we multiply all these and get 36 choose 9 into 27 choose 9 into 18 choose 9 into 9 choose 9. So in these many number of ways, 4 teams can be formed. Let me calculate. So this becomes 36 factorial by 9 factorial into 27 factorial into 27 factorial by 9 factorial into 18 factorial into 18 factorial by 9 factorial into 9 factorial into 9 factorial by 9 factorial into 0 factorial. After simplification, what remains is 36 factorial by 9 factorial into 9 factorial into 9 factorial into 9 factorial. So in these many number of ways, 4 teams can be formed with 9 girls in each team. So this was an example. Now let me just write in terms of notations the number of ways to choose n1 objects from a given set of n objects and n2 objects from the remaining that is n minus n1 objects n3 objects from the remaining that is n minus n1 minus n2 object please note i'm again and again choosing from the remaining objects and this goes on and choosing n k minus 1 objects from n minus n1 minus n2 and so on minus n k minus 1 so in how many ways can we do this that will be given by n choose n1 into n minus n1 choose n2 into n minus n1 minus n2 choose n3 product goes on into n minus n1 minus n2 this goes on up to nk minus 1 choose nk let me repeat it if it's not clear you can see it this way we are choosing n1 objects from n n2 objects from what remains here n3 objects from what remains here and so on up to nk now by simple calculation this comes out to be n factorial by n1 factorial into n2 factorial into so on and the product goes on up to nk factorial now this can be written as it can be denoted as n choose n1 comma n2 comma n3 and so on up to nk what did i do just now i have chosen a particular number of objects from a given fixed number of objects n was fixed and i kept on choosing 
a particular number that is n1 n2 nk from this set n so what we are arriving at is called the famous multinomial theorem so what i stated as n factorial by n1 factorial into n2 factorial up to nk factorial is called the coefficient of the term x1 par n1 into x2 par n2 into x3 par n3 so on up to xk par nk in the expansion of x1 plus x2 plus so on up to xk whole power n you have already seen binomial by means 2 so when k is 2 this turns out to be binomial theorem so this is the generalization of binomial theorem so what we have to keep in mind is that this term n factorial by n1 factorial into n2 factorial up to nk factorial will be the coefficient of x1 par n1 into x2 par n2 up to xk par nk so what does this actually mean this means from this set of n objects x1 is chosen n1 times x2 is chosen from the set of n minus n1 objects n2 times x3 is chosen from the set of n minus n1 minus n2 n3 times and so on xk is chosen from the set of n minus n1 minus n2 up to minus nk how many times nk times and this choosing can be done in n factorial by n1 factorial into n2 factorial so on up to nk factorial in these many ways and this is called the multinomial theorem